Xavier262 and welcome back to the channel with another Call of Duty Modern Warfare Weapon Showcase. I had a lot of fun doing the Beretta 93R video. I wanted to make another one featuring some weapons from the movie Heat. Now that's a famous 1995 classic about bank robbery. It's a heist movie in LA following some pretty famous actors as they battle through the streets doing various jobs. Now at the climax of that movie the bank robbers, who are in this case Robert De Niro, Val Kilmer, and Tom Sizemore, fight with LAPD in the streets as they are making their getaway. And the lead detective who is pursuing them is played by Al Pacino. And he uses a famous gun, or at least famous for the film, the FNC-80. And the reason it's famous is that in the scene there are a million different guns and small arms used. Mostly standard police weapons, the Glock 19, the Beretta 92FS, the 1911, they use some revolvers, they use the M16, A1, and A2. They use the model, the Remington Model 870, which is the standard police, or was the standard police shotgun at the time, the Super 90, another shotgun, uh, the short pump, and just a lot of weapons. But in Al Pacino's case, he is using the FNC 80. Now, this is a semi automatic rifle made by the same company, Fabrique Nationale, that the FAL is. So, to get right into it, this is going to be an easy build. And the reason for that is we have the FAL in game. Now this is what the build looks like. So you can pause the screen here and just skip all the talking. But I'm going to deselect all and show you how to build the FNC80 as we see it in the movie. So first off, there are some key differences between the FNC and the FAL. Namely, if you look here, this is where the charging handle is, so that way the shooter does not have to take his hand off the trigger to charge the weapon. Now the actual FNC-80 flips the whole mechanism and puts it here because there is no carrying handle and the rifle is a lot lighter than the FAL. It was meant to be the predecessor of the FAL and put it into a lot of different situations that the FAL could not get into. But other than that, aesthetically speaking, we can still build the rest of the FNC-80. So first thing you have to do is this flash guard here, or this compensator really, is way too large and that's for the FAL. Now the FNC does use 7.62 but a much smaller muzzle brake. So you just use the first attachment muzzle brake. It doesn't really give you anything, it just gives you muzzle. Uh, it just gives you recoil stabilization at the price of aim down sight speed and aiming stability. Uh, really not that big of a drop in mobility and it does help the accuracy a lot. But for the purposes of this build it just makes the barrel come down to the proper length of the FNC 80. Now ammunition wise you're going to want to use a 24 round mag. This is going to hit movement speed and aim down sight speed, but it is accurate to the magazines used by Al Pacino in the film. It, despite it does have this cool rubber handle to make it easier to grab the magazine out of it in game. Uh, that wasn't present on the magazines used in the film, but that doesn't matter. Now this right here is basically an FNC 80 uh, because they did come with the FAL stock just normal. But in the movie, they were using the updated and what was more common for these weapons, which is the aluminum skeleton stock. So that's just going to be the factory 18-inch. You get aim, walk, and movement speed back from that, but you lose a little bit of accuracy. But at least you're getting mobility back. And that's pretty much the end of this build. There's nothing else aesthetically that changes, but to keep it movie accurate, and this is up to your preference because it is semi-automatic either way, um... I put the three round burst perk on it because Al Pacino's character during the gunfight is firing in burst. But if you just have a really quick trigger finger, you can save that slot for something else. And I used my last slot just to run the Merc 4 grip to help hit fire accuracy and recoil control. So that way I can get some of that accuracy I lost by putting the stock on back. And I get more control even though I lose a little bit mobility. But as you can see from the stats there, it's still on par with the base. FAL. So if you didn't touch it at all, you have just as much mobility. And that's the FNC-80 as seen in the film Heat. And it's actually a really strong weapon, both at close range, because you now have the burst and hip fire accuracy buffs. But it can still do the normal mid-range combat, or if you're in hardcore, even long-range shots in the burst mode. So it's still a really great weapon. But if you want something that's even more aggressive and more close quarters, then you might want to switch over to the Colt model 733. Now this is basically the Colt Commando, although it was produced in the 80s, so far after the Colt Commando first saw service in the 60s. 
And this is used by Val Kilmer and Robert De Niro as the bank robbers, and they use it to put down a lot of suppressive fire as they're making the getaway into the you know police. So this is what it looks like in game. This is as close as we can get. The biggest difference here is that you will not have the carrying handle that you need, and that's because we are using the purest blueprint. There's no blueprint in the game that really offers that and keeps the gun black. But there is a blueprint that has it, at least that I have, that's, uh, well, it's one of these, yeah, cartoony ones. But if we're using this, this is the proper receiver for the cult model, 733. It is using the Forged Pack CQS, which is the stock we will need for this weapon to make it movie accurate and both accurate to the actual model firearm. And then after that, everything has to change. For example, we have to drop it down to the FSS 11.5 inch commando barrel, which will give you movement speed and aim down sight speed, but at the cost of bullet velocity and recoil control. After that, there is no muzzle attachment for this. Uh, it just fires like that. We will change the ammo, oop, the ammo, to 50 rounds to nag mags. Those are accurate to the ones used. Also in the movie, they are firing for a long time at the police before reloading they had high capacity magazines now whether it was 50 rounds or 60 rounds I'm not sure so that's really your preference how you want the weapon to look you don't need the burst perk because they're firing in full auto the entire time but if you prefer to have it you can but I'm gonna use that slot for something else mostly the rear stippled grip tape and that's because I get aim down sight speed with it sprint to fire speed so that way I can shoulder the weapon a lot quicker and I lose control but that's about it and then, again, just like the FNC-80, I want to put the Merc foregrip on it, again, for that recoil control and hip fire accuracy. So now you have a very aggressive close quarter version of the M4, albeit it's actually the Colt 733, used in the movie by Robert De Niro and Val Kilmer as they're escaping from the bank. Now, in the build I had it just before, if you want to go back and rewind it, it is the same exact build. The only difference is, with the blueprint I'm using, this is all black, and it just makes it look a little bit nicer and more movie accurate. But you do lose this carrying handle here, which is what you need to complete the actual Colt 733. So it's really just how do you want it to be. Do you want it to look more like the movie, or do you want it to look more like the Colt 733? Either way, this is the build, and it is a very good assault rifle for close quarter fights. It is very aggressive, very quick to fire, and thanks to both the Merc foregrip and the stippled grip tape, you're able to fire it from the hip really well, or bring it up to your shoulder as you're running to fire it there, so you are going to win a lot of gunfights with this weapon. And last but not least, the last bad guy in the scene who survived was Tom Sizemore, and he is using the Galil Arm. That is an IMI weapon, they are famous for making the Desert Eagle, as well as in this game, the Taver... Tavor, I can't really pronounce the name, but the Tavor 9, but you know it as the Ram 7, that is another Israeli weapon. However, there is no weapon in the game right now that you can use to make the Galil Arm rifle. The closest thing you can get is an AK-12 with 40 round magazines instead of the standard 5x45, and the muzzle brake, and the skeleton stock. So you will need the steel curtain blueprint if you want this pistol grip here, because it does have a black plastic pistol grip in real life. But if that doesn't matter to you, you don't need this blueprint, you can still build this gun the same. We're using the Spetnaz Elite barrel here because it is the shortest of the AK upgrade barrels that still keeps it kind of looking like a Galil Arms rifle. Now in real life, this whole top part here, including where the gas tube enters the barrel, so when the AK fires, the gas releases from here, pushes the bolt back. The Galil doesn't work like that, but it does have a tube up here that extends almost the entire length of the barrel and no sight. So other than that, and this huge barrel here, this is still very much an AK. Um, it is the closest you can get to Tom Sizemore's Galil arm. Fortunately, that's the best I can do. But we can do the FNC-80 and the Colt 733, which are both very strong in this game and were really impressive to see in the film Heat. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Or if you've seen the movie Heat and really liked it, now you can use some of these guns in-game. And if you haven't but want to try out these builds, please let me know how they go in the comment section below. As always, please subscribe to the channel. It always helps me 
know what you guys want to see and if you're interested in this content and helps you to make more videos. Now I will be making a part two to this. I just wanted to cover the essentials from that famous gun scene in the movie, but in part two I will be covering some of those weapons I mentioned earlier that the police are using throughout and even some weapons that the other members of the crew who were not in the gunfight used. That includes the shotguns, one of the M16s, I'm going to try my best to recreate it. They use a type of AK rifle that is actually not an AK, but looks very much like it, so we'll be building that, and we'll be building the rifle used by Val Kilmer in another shootout scene, which is a Heckler & Koch weapon system, which you can build in this game using the Grau 5.56. And some of the pistols, although most of the pistols are not in this game, obviously we have the Glock 19, the 1911, and now the Beretta F92S in the game, so I'll be showing you how to make some of those at least movie accurate here. So that'll be in part two, so if you want to get notified when that video goes up, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.